If you're enjoying this podcast from us here at Witch, then why not become a Witch member? Right now, we've got a special offer, especially for podcast listeners, meaning you can choose any of our three membership tiers for 50% off the usual price. Starting at just £39.50 for a full year, you can get Witch Magazine delivered direct to your door. For the same price, you could also choose a digital Witch subscription, giving you access to all of our product reviews, the Witch app, and the digital edition of Witch Magazine. What's more, you'll also be able to use the Ask Witch service for personalised one-to-one buying advice. Or why not get a full access Witch subscription for just £49.50 for a full year. Don't forget, that's 50% off the usual price. To join Witch or to find out more, just head to witch.co.uk forward slash podcast offer. That's witch.co.uk forward slash podcast offer. Or click the link in the description for today's podcast for 50% off a Witch annual subscription. Hello and welcome to the Witch Short Podcast. I'm James Rowe. This is the podcast that brings you the very best from Witch with a weekly taster of some of the brilliant journalism you can expect from your suite of magazines. This week, we're looking at antivirus. In the August edition of the Witch Tech magazine, Callum Pears looked at the rise of phishing attacks, where scammers trick you into revealing your details. He explained what to watch out for and tips to keep yourself safe. Here's his piece, adapted for the podcast, read by the editor of Witch Tech magazine, Lisa Barber. Phishing is a persistent growing threat. As of July this year, the National Cyber Security Council has removed 188,000 scams from just under 350,000 URLs, and that number goes up every month. As with any successful scam, the threats are constantly evolving, but they have a common goal, either to trick you into disclosing private information or into clicking on a dodgy link or opening a corrupted file. The latter can allow malware and spyware to infect your computer and compromise stored data or spy on your on-screen activities. The methods used for phishing scams vary. Typically, malicious emails and messages, sometimes with dodgy URLs and attachments, are sent en masse. These messages mimic real businesses and organisations and stress that urgent action is required from you to either prevent or rectify a problem. Instead, you'll be tricked into revealing your private information or it will lead you to malicious websites. Now, scammers only expect a small percentage of their phishing schemes to succeed, but they only require a few successes to gain a profit. Phishing is also becoming more and more sophisticated. In addition to spear phishing, that's where scammers target you specifically using information found online and elsewhere to trick you, we see more brazen phishing attempts like fake ads. This is where scammers impersonate genuine businesses and tempt you with incredible deals. Clicking an ad takes you to a website where you're asked for some information, such as your account details. This information is then acquired by cyber criminals and used to steal from you or impersonate you. Which found one such fake ad last year. We identified a phony Great Western Railway promo circulated on Facebook. Using the typical tactic of urgency, it enticed people to act fast to claim one of 150 gift cards for a year of free travel. When the ad was clicked, you'd be asked to complete a survey on a phishing site to claim. Here, the information filled out can instead be used or sold by criminals. Now, however persuasive a phishing attempt is, it's easy to protect yourself. The best antivirus software has anti-phishing capabilities that can accurately and consistently flag phishing websites, files and messages to warn you. You'll be guided on how to proceed with clear information and instructions so you can be confident you haven't fallen victim. Essentially, antivirus will act as a second line of defence to your natural caution to ensure you aren't duped. Now, Windows and Mac computers have some form of native protection, but the quality of this varies. And, depending on which operating system you're running, such as Windows 10 or 11 or Mac OS, the protection you're offered will vary. Even so, all native protection was underwhelming in our phishing tests. All were fooled by some of our test pages and were easily eclipsed when compared with most antivirus, especially the best antivirus on test. They also only work on their native browsers, so if you use another browser, definitely download antivirus for added protection. Now, in our tests, we found that a free antivirus was the best performer. So, how does antivirus work? 
Well, using our top scoring antivirus as an example, let's run through the protections it offers and how this works. Clicking on a dodgy phishing URL will cause a notification page to appear, details as to why this website is a threat to be given, and an option would be presented to go back. If you trust the website, there's also an option to ignore the warning and proceed. If you do this, be sure that site is genuine, as the protection will be overridden if you choose to proceed. Some antivirus software requires a plugin to be installed on your browser to monitor for phishing sites. Antivirus will typically opt to block dubious files and quarantine them. Restoring quarantine files can be accessed via the antivirus's user interface. This can sometimes be difficult to find in the menus, but it's relatively simple with our top scoring Best Buy. Uh, we test antivirus throughout the year. For phishing, we subject them to three separate batches of test pages to see how consistent and powerful that protection is. Clear details are important too. The best antivirus will concisely inform you about the nature of the threat and what action you can take or has been taken to protect you. Technological advancements are making phishing threats more numerous and tricky to spot, causing rising doubts to what's genuine and what's not. Antivirus can help remove that doubt, preventing you from being fooled by ever more sophisticated phishing scams. To wrap up, here are some phishing attacks that you need to look out for. Urgent bank issue. Mimicking banking correspondence is a common tactic. By stressing urgency and consequences, the aim is to coerce you into giving away your bank details or clicking on a dodgy link. Now, banks never ask for your details in this way. If you're ever unsure, confirm with your bank on a verifiable telephone number. Account will be deactivated. A random email alerting you that a vital account will be closed is a stressful annoyance. It can also be a phishing attempt. Scammers will pretend to be widely used websites such as Amazon or PayPal and stress that if you don't confirm your account details, it will be closed. Social media compromised. Social media accounts are treasure troves of personal information and a gateway to potential victims. Scammers can create fake login pages to allow them access and even hijack accounts. This allows criminals to spy on you and gather your information or even pose as you. Calendar invite deception. An increasingly common phishing attack is malicious calendar invites. This targets people who regularly use a virtual calendar to manage appointments as a fake are mixed in among genuine invites. They typically include dodgy links and attachments or request sensitive information. Lisa Barber was reading that piece by Callum Pears, originally published in the August edition of the Witch Tech magazine. To read it in full, then be sure to become a member of Witch Tech. This is the only way to find out what our Witch Best Buy antivirus software is. I'll pop a link in the show notes for you to find out more. We'll be back next week for another episode of Witch Shorts, but in the meantime, why not check out Witch Money Shorts on the Witch Money podcast feed. Every fortnight we give you a taster of the Witch Money magazine, just like we do here on Shorts with the travel, gardening, tech and regular Witch Mags. Just search Witch Money wherever you're listening. Which Shorts was produced and edited by me, James Rowe, while the exec producer was Grace Farrell. As well as being an expert on money matters, did you know that Witch also has a team of experts in various aspects of UK law? The Witch Legal Advice Service gives its members access to this team, allowing them to get advice on a range of legal matters that impact consumers' everyday lives. And right now, you can join the Witch Legal Advice Service and save 30% off the usual annual price. So whether it's a rental dispute, a last-minute holiday cancellation, or legal employment advice, Witch can give you personalised one-to-one advice in a simple, convenient and affordable manner. Don't struggle in silence or suffer the stress of wading through endless streams of online information from unreliable sources. Join online and book your appointment to speak to one of our experts to get the advice and guidance you need tailored to you. Plus, right now, you can join and get legal support from Witch for a whole year for just £69.30, a saving of 30%. Just go to witch.co.uk forward slash legal advice to find out more or click the link in the podcast show notes. This offer ends on the 31st of August, so don't miss out.